Welcome to Tuesdays with Todd. I'm Todd Strange, mayor of the great city of Montgomery, Alabama. Today we're at uh, the Montgomery Fire Department headquarters because tomorrow, September 11th, is a very significant day uh, in the life of America, but more particularly the life of every firefighter. Today we've got uh, two active firefighters, uh, Russ Collier and Jason Cups. Uh, both uh, have played a significant role in the uh, the quality and the uh, awards that Montgomery Fire Department has uh, been achieving over the last uh, several years. Talk about, from a firefighter's perspective, uh, either one of you, what 9-11 really means uh, to us uh, that are in the firefighting uh, service. Well, uh, of course, all of us can remember uh, exactly what we were doing, where we were at when the, when the devastation started. Uh, we didn't really know exactly what was going on, but as time progressed, um, we learned that um, it was the biggest loss of firefighter lives in, uh, in U.S. history. And uh, it's significant, significant for uh, all firefighters to uh, remember that day, hold it dear to our heart, uh, train better, and learn from mistakes made uh, learn from stuff that was done well and move forward and take the fire service forward. Absolutely. Jason, uh, you're in the uh, marketing and the public relations side of the equation, uh, although you're certainly an active firefighter. Uh, talk about the event tomorrow that we're going to have and we would invite anyone to come and be a part of that. Yes, sir. So we're going to Montgomery Fire Rescue Group. We're going to have our own 9-11 ceremony right out here at 19 Madison Avenue. We'll have uh, Madison Avenue blocked off from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., so there's a little bit of a traffic advisory there. But we're going to have a ceremony where we can honor the fallen uh, firefighters and the 60 police officers from 9-11. And we're also going to add something special this year, and we're going to honor all the line of duty deaths that we've had here in Montgomery Fire Rescue. We've been fortunate that we've only had 15 since 1901 yeah. and haven't had one since 1990, um, but we're going to honor them as well. So we'll have a very nice ceremony. Um, there'll be some um, refreshments and coffee and stuff in lobby for the public as well. Good. That starts at 8.30 right here in front on Madison, Madison Avenue. Yes, sir. 8.30. You know, uh, we say all the time, uh, it's the first time I've really uh, heard it referenced uh, in, in a meaningful way. You know, during that 9-11 event, there's so many people running away from the event, but all of our first responders, including fire uh, police and many others, right. were running too the disaster and uh, there was significant loss of life and I always remember and talk about the uh, uh, Patty Brown, Captain Patty Brown right. uh, that uh, was uh, on the 42nd floor or whatever. He received the order to evacuate the building and, and he declined. He said, sir, I refuse the order and then 20 minutes later he and all uh, hands perished uh, in that. Uh, that's but one of the many that we lost their lives. And, you know, it's significant from a standpoint of being involved in public safety, being involved in first response, uh, responders. Every day we put ourselves, not me, but uh, our first responders put themselves uh, in the line of duty and uh, it's great that we are honoring those.